Welcome back to the Retro Sports Gamer Channel. Tonight I'm going to continue my season of NCAA Football 2003 with Notre Dame Fighting Irish. I'm 2-1. and one. I'm also going to talk about the Notre Dame game versus Duke. That happened today on NBC. So let's start off just by seeing who I played this week in this wonderful PlayStation 2 game. And let's see where my next game is. Last game was on national television in the game. Doesn't look like I got a game this week. What's up, Sean? Yep, college streams, I think that's going to be where it's at for me. So I watched the Duke-Notre Dame game today, and I do have a lot of positive to talk about. Uh, it was on NBC, the same channel that the NFL opener was on, the Chiefs vs. Texans. But this broadcast was a bit different, and in a better way. Uh, Michigan State... This is a big one. That's who I'm playing in this game. So what did I see today? Uh, right before the Notre Dame game, there was uh, Premier Soccer on NBC. And uh, unlike the NFL that did an hour of propaganda there was only a five minute segment about uh, BLM and some other things on the Notre Dame broadcast which is nothing out of the ordinary that I haven't seen before when certain things pop up in uh, our society our American society so that wasn't really too bad at all I could deal with that five minutes all right, we're going to get into this game. Uh, so, Mike Tirico and Tony Dungy were on the call in this game. And these both of these guys are class acts. And they don't... They're very neutral. And they, they do... They're good at what they do. Tony Dungy cracks me up because he, he says things that... <laughs> Like, it's the right thing to say, but it doesn't have much meaning. So, I get a kick out of listening to him commentate. But mostly it was just about the football on his end. Tariko's the guy they, they used a little bit to, you know, sell some of the things that are going on with the, the coronavirus. Uh, there were fans at Notre Dame, which is what interested me in the first place. Most of them were students. They did all have masks on to get into the stadium. And they pretty much kept them on for the most part that i seen. There was a sign seating. The band was there. There were, like, cheerleaders and stuff. Uh, let's see. What else happened in the game? More than that, more so than that, like, it was actually football. It wasn't it wasn't so distracting that you couldn't watch the game, which I felt like the NFL was. Uh, there were hard hits. The game speed was fast. There were gang tackles. A guy got popped on a punt return. It was a good game for most, most of the way through until Notre Dame pulled away uh, in the second half. Chances very much. Well, I think you're right. Uh, I really felt like they were pl like they were playing football compared to what I seen on Thursday night, where it was like a run through between the Chiefs and the Texans, like real weak tackles, a lot of running out of bounds, game speed not at NFL level. I thought this game though, this was this was real football, so I was happy that I got to watch a real football game. 
where there's actually hard hits and everything. There weren't bad penalties that slowed the game down. So overall, I enjoyed the football part of it. One of the things I noticed, though, they, they like I was saying, they used Mike Tirico to say, like, you know, oh, the... They, they're very being very compliant as the fans like to wear their masks like this is just odd things that commentators normally would not say it was very light though like I said compared to the other sports and the NFL broadcast on Thursday uh, there were now it was not free from other ridiculousness. The Two Line things I wide. want to talk about that I noticed is the uh, the Number band was there, I mentioned, which was good. It, was, it, it added some energy to the game. But they were playing their instruments through a mask, like uh, flutes, trumpets. They had masks on. <laughs> like, I just, I can't, I just don't understand that at all, like. You can't you can't pull it down to play your instrument. You got to put it through fabric. So that was that was pretty interesting. The Fighting Irish line up in a four three. I got a kick out of that. Also, another funny thing from the fans is towards the end of the game they showed about twenty to thirty guys that took their shirts off. So they had masks on but no shirts on, <laughs> and they were all grouped together. So I would say that. That's probably the most thing I've seen out of the fans is like a silent protest. First and ten, ball on their own thirty-one. Uh, the other thing is, so they played this whole entire game, and at the end they did the. Oh yes, what's up, Metal Face? They did the Notre Dame uh, song at the end for the victory, and they spread every like all the Notre Dame players out, and, and Tariko said so like, "Oh, they're they're social distancing, blah blah blah." It's like they just played the football game. They were in gang tackles together. They were on top of each other on the line. Like, what what are we trying to prove? So, you know, this is. This is the stuff that we're dealing with in 2020. Obviously, doesn't make much sense for the players to do it after they just played a game to spread out like that in that formation. But the thing is, this broadcast was enjoyable enough to me where I will I will watch the next week. So that's that's a good thing. And I haven't watched any other college broadcasts, so I don't know how they are in comparison. What's up, Cool T. Joe? The Spartans put four men up front. Oh, it's covered. Back to throw. Decides to slide. They'll get nine yards. Cosmetic precautions, yeah. But like, if there's any guys that are going to be the lightest on. And very neutral and just do a professional broadcast. It's these two guys. Tariko and Tony Dungy. They did they did a good job like avoiding it as much as they could. Especially Dungy. Dungy barely I don't even think he barely talked about it the whole time. He didn't talk about COVID or anything like that. It was Tariko, and and obviously the broadcast is telling him to say these things. But in compared to what the NFL was doing, it was nothing, basically. They didn't have tracking devices on the players. They didn't do any of this virtual fan stuff or people that are are virtual. Um, interviews, stuff like that at halftime. None of that. Everyone was there that was for the broadcast. They did have the guy, the sideline reporter was like standing six feet away from whoever he was interviewing. But the person he was interviewing, oh no, not good. Most of the time, the majority of the time, they maybe they showed three or four interviews. They weren't wearing a mask or anything. Yeah, I saw that, Pat. 
Brian Kelly, there were times where he just, yeah, he was not wearing the mask. Neither was the, they kept showing the Notre Dame offensive coordinator. He really wasn't wearing it either. And, of course, the players didn't have that on. So, it out of every sport that I've seen so far, including professional, this being a national televised game, this is the best thing that I've seen so far. Like something that I could be like, you know what? I can I could stomach watching what I just seen. And I just think they're actually letting them they're actually playing football whereas I don't know what the NFL's doing, but those players were not playing as fast or as hard or hitting as hard as in this game that I saw. Have I played college football 2K3 on Xbox yet? No, I haven't. That's a good one to check out. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 30. Yeah, I squandered an opportunity getting that fumble and fumbled right back with my running back too in this game. But yeah, basically what I saw in the game. Oh, the another thing I wanted to talk about is like this is on NBC. This is just two days later from the Sunday night football or not Sunday night Thursday night football game. And the commercials were much different. The Fighting Irish. Like they weren't trying to sell all of all of this new New World Order stuff, virtual world order. They weren't selling any of it really. I saw maybe like two commercials the whole time. There was like a Chick-fil-A one where they're talking about, you know, safety and this sort of stuff. And then uh there was a Notre Dame commercial where they're just showing basically the classroom and people in masks and the the teacher in a mask. But other than that, all the commercials were what you would normally see. Yeah, well, <laughs> Whitmer is, uh, he's one of those, those, uh, <laughs> politicians from They Live, the movie, you know. If you could see through who, who she actually is, it's not, it's not pretty in there. What's up, Clarence Parker? So yeah, most of the time it was just about about football. Uh, they had they had to explain this to me. I would have never noticed otherwise with the way the teams change logos these days. But Duke had their D in, in black letters instead of white letters, and I guess that was for ELM. They also had a uh, fist on the back of their helmet. I mean, this is stuff that they've done in the past, though, with either, like, a player's number honoring them or military stuff. So it's it's nothing new. Love the way players bend over when winded. I mean... People, people have to come to grips. Like you can't. It doesn't matter what one person in your state says. It doesn't matter what their title is. Like you can't do it that way. Sorry, you don't know what you're talking about, Whitmer. No score after one, and we're ready now for the start of the second quarter. Yeah, I guess I I got conditioned to seeing sports logos change all the time because of the <laughs> mainly the NBA. The NBA is. He's just changing them like every week, it feels like. Or at least their jerseys. It's hard to keep track. No, Brennan, you're not alone. I was, I was looking for some hope <laughs> that there, there's something I could go back to and watch. And I, I'm glad to say, like... This is one thing I I will I can go back and watch next week. And you know, it'll probably be even less cuz this was the first week of the season. Number 32 gets it off. Spin move. Number 56 brings him down at the 30-yard line. The halfback toss gets maybe 4 yards. A lot of time being chewed up in this one. Let's get a stop. Third and 
and seven coming up here. Ball on the 30 yard line. But yeah, if you if you want to watch some football, good quality football on with with you know national on a national broadcast, then I would recommend Notre Dame is where it's at right now. Brings him down for a loss. That's a seven yard loss. I'll have to try to catch some other ones, but I really don't want to turn the TV on that much. I don't anyways, unless it's for like YouTube or streaming stuff. American football jerseys are always symmetrical. Soccer has asymmetrical jerseys. Yeah, soccer definitely has a different style. Notre Dame lines up in a dime defense here. He drops it back. He passes it, and it's knocked away. What a big defensive style. Utah Jazz retired Stockton and Malone style jerseys. What's up, Eli the Wolf? Went for it on fourth. Okay. They'll take over at the 37-yard line. I think I might have to make some changes. No, 21's in there. He's my fastest receiver. Lines up at a 4 -3. Number 43 with a takedown at the 40. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. Well, in the game that I watched... Duke did a good job bottling up the run. I thought that was where Notre Dame would have the advantage in the running game. And they did. But it took them to the second half to really break out and wear down the Duke defense. Uh, Ian Book, the Notre Dame quarterback, he didn't have his best game. He shows that he has some mobility, though. Defense lines up. Uh, I don't the like box. the way this looks. Call timeout. Go Duke. Yes. Blast with a cross. I mean, one day I will, Eli, but it's not on the top of the list. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> I have to get the game first. You appreciate the soft spot in my heart for Notre Dame. I mean, it really, I'm just reporting what I see on the broadcast and if it's watchable. And it, it is. It really is. It's watchable. They played a good football game. There was a couple times helmets were flying off. Like, this is what I want to see when I watch football. Last year's first team O-line had four or five players from Notre Dame. They're always strong in the O-line. Yeah. Number seven, hands off to the left. He's at the 40. Inside the 40. There's a stiff arm. No flag. With a takedown at the 19. What a huge run by the tailback. It's pretty obvious that this offensive line controlled the line, control. the line oh. of scrimmage that time. But did you see how this halfback eluded the defense? Yeah, I mean, That's these right games are great. You probably get this game for a few bucks. They used four linebackers. Number seven on the option. I mean, I bought it for 50 probably back in the day, but I'm still so playing it now. Good game. Keeper. What's up, Game Escape? Yeah, I think Duke played very well. They made it. They made it a game. They came back a little bit and made it 17-13, and then Notre Dame had to score another touchdown to get away. Duke quarterback Bryce was playing pretty good. I guess he transferred over from Clemson behind... He's playing behind uh, Trevor Lawrence. So, yeah, this year, <laughs> I'm going to check out the Notre Dame games and just not pay attention to the NFL. Like, it was pretty close to night and day in how they did the broadcast. Ooh, should I go for the field goal? Two yards. Yeah, I think I'll just put some points up. Duke did not have a season last year. I don't know about that. It should be good. Got some points on. I think I get the ball at halftime. Could you play a game of NBA 09 on PS3? I don't have NBA 09. 
And I don't really stream with PS3 because there's, there's a few extra steps I have to take to stream. I, eventually I'll get there, but my what I think is retro is pretty much... And I've played PS4 and everything on this channel before, so it's not like I can't do it. But I think like PS2, Xbox, GameCube... Dreamcast, everything older is definitely retro. Whereas once you get into PS3, 360 territory, not that it's not old, but graphically it's not uh, it's not too far off from what we see today. I think the Duke's coach is terrific. Cutcliffe always gets a lot out of his players and fields a competitive team despite the school's recruiting disadvantages. Yeah, I mean, I know Daniel Jones is, came from there and he played pretty well for the Giants. Uh, don't know too much else about the program. And they're just taking it to the half. Rutgers lacrosse team. I don't know anything about any lacrosse teams. I got to be honest, Eli. Rose Bowl canceled Duke football. Alabama is terrible for much of the 2000s. What's up, James Bond? Yeah, college foot. It does. They they really tried to stick to what makes it good, um, and I think they pretty much did most of it. And yeah, a lot of these guys aren't gonna move on to anywhere else. They're just playing, you know, hopefully to move on, or they're just playing with more heart and passion. And I've always known this for a long time. While watching professional sports, but now it's it's basically the way it's being broadcasted is forcing me to make a change. <laughs> I would recommend if you want to watch football, not only college football, but check out some local high school teams. Like there, you could get some talented, watch some talented players and young guys, and uh, get in the game pretty cheap. Don't have to follow all these rules. I see many high school football. Well, not many, but I've seen a few photos where high school football games look like they're just back. All right, let's get back to the game. Michigan State, Michigan State got the ball to start the game, so they'll be kicking off to start the second half. <laughs> took a little off. cannabis in, James Bond. Number 34, yeah, well, from the six. Everyone's going through through something right now. A little stress from here or there. They'll start this drive at Brady the as a buck. Michigan State lines up the yeah, you guys are going to have to tell me about how that stuff goes because seven, I'm, I'm not going to I'm not going to be interest, too interested in NFL. Gain of nine. Yeah, you're right, Game Escape. There's certain teams on the schedule where in high school where it's like they just get smoked. I guess you have to know a little bit about it to know which teams match up well against each other. Michigan State. Run defense has not been good. Brought down at the 35 yard line. What an impressive run that was. Not only was this a big run, but that may have taken did. a little bit of steam out of the defense. Hold on, my uh, little. On this controller, this little uh, rubber thing comes off sometimes. I don't want to quit. When I hold it too hard. <laughs> Brady said, still, we got to practice throughout practice ban and tweeted out maskless picks saying, only thing you fear is fear itself. Mm, that's, 
That's pretty good from Brady. I don't trust Tom Brady, but that seems to be a good message. Yeah, I, I have seen that Tom Brady is pretty strict about his diet. First and ten, ball on the 35. Michigan State comes out in a 4-3, under pressure, complete, juke move. Boom, a little swing down. pass. The 25. And they get the first down on that completion, Coach. That was a very nice first down conversion. The key to that play was the fact that the quarterback Everyone should take a to look down teacher field. every it's week. First and ten, ball on the 25-yard line. They'll use a 4-4 Yeah, I wouldn't here. doubt that's not a bad idea. He drops back. Looks. Fires a bullet out to the this right. guy, he's making touchdown. big catches all season. Spartan mascot doesn't like it. It's the second catch he's made this season that, like that, just over his shoulder. He runs a good clean route there, and the quarterback throws it to him with a lot of confidence. Good touchdown, guys. 04 has better passing than 03. I do have 04. This is the first one I got. 2002 exists. And he hits the PAT. So with just over three minutes remaining in the third quarter, our I've always Notre had a good time with this one. I know I played this one the most. Notre Dame lines up for the kickoff. Number 32 and number 82 back deep to return. Sends it sailing downfield. Yeah, people shouldn't be looking to athletes for life advice. But those who do, I'd rather they hear that than worse. Yeah. Well, yeah, they they position them in advertisements and during these broadcasts as as role models. But that's really just usually for younger people. And it does work for that for sure. I remember just liking drinking Sprite because Grant Hill drinks Sprite. <laughs> and then LeBron started doing the Sprite commercials. Second down and 14. Ball on the 16-yard line. Love this game, but I lost it at some point. Have to require it. Yeah, reacquire it. I mean, it's only a few dollars on the internet. Really. He guns it to the right. Number 84. Hangs on to it. Not a bad play there. Looks good. Plays well. A lot of variety of plays, different teams. Third and four. Ball on the 26 yard line. Connor McGregor. Yeah. I mean, a lot of these guys are are false idols. With a stack backfield. Because they ha they have a lot of star power, but it's like it's more like media power because they they put a lot of these guys in front of your face all the time. And then when they need them for a message, they will use them for that. And the ones that speak out of turn, they get blacklisted usually. Number eighteen, back to punt. It's just the way it goes. Soda's liquid poison. Yeah, this is with the carbonation, the corn syrup, the dye. I mean, every once in a while, okay, but it's probably not a good thing to drink routinely. Picked up NCAA 11, last one on PS2. Reskin of 06, but decent game. Oh, I shouldn't have pitched that. And he's gonna lose yards on this one. Well, the offensive line needs to do a better job up front of opening the hole for the running back. It's second down and eleven to go. Yeah, I tried that with the Maddens, the later Maddens, to see what they were like, because I stopped at 06. And, and I got that feeling too. Oh, I don't know what I was doing there. A big play by the defense right there. Well, that's a great individual Not there. He just good on my part. Right through the line. Rare combination of power and speed by the defense. Number seven, Stop drinking it. 
in high school and started working out. That'll make a huge difference. Get rid of soda, start, stop working out. My friend Joe did that. It was a bad series. McGregor arrested for domestic violence. They're not gonna like to hear me say this. Well, he <laughs> he does violence for a living, so can't say I'm too surprised if that happened. Number 82 fields it at the 30. Drink a can every season. Yeah, I don't drink soda. I mean, every once in a while, I'll drink a an Ed, a Red Bull. That's about it, just to get a little energy kick, and that's not good for you either. It's more for the effect than just to drink it. Before that, I would drink uh, Herba Mate, Lemon Elation. But, uh, yeah, I haven't been going to the store. They're basically mostly at Whole Foods and the health food stores. And I just try to avoid the grocery stores now because they're just, uh, they're a miserable experience. The Fighting Irish. Put four men the up local, front. like, you know, convenience store Number doesn't nine, have those things. He throws it, and he can't hang on to it. Coca-Cola got busted for funding all the sugar studies at some top universities and burying that they were negative. I mean, of course. Sometimes you just got to use your common sense to know that these things are not not good for you. But... There will always Notre be someone saying something or writing an article that's what you Number want nine, to hear to rather than Looking. what will help he you. He goes downtown. <laughs> oh, what? And and Come on. One-handed grab. Your reaction to that pass play, coach? Well, anytime you get a first down, you're happy. But in this case, you get a first down and then a bunch of yards on top of that. <laughs> you're ecstatic. I saw another college game on at the bar I stopped in, and there were no fans in the stadium. First and ten, ball on the 23-yard line. Unlike the Notre Dame game, Michigan State comes to the like line baseball. <laughs> I know some people Number like nine, this, nice the unloaded. cardboard cutouts, but I can't watch it seriously with cardboard cutouts behind the whole plate. Like, come on. Folks, we played three, and our score is I like playing Notre frisbee Dame, golf. 10, Michigan State, nothing. That's something I got into because the park district set them up for free, so all you need to do is show up with your discs. And I played a lot of mini golf too, yeah, but I've never gotten into four. going to play golf courses. Which is something I'd like to do soon. Second down and five. Ball on the 18. It's just, uh, you know, when I had the time to do that sort of thing, I didn't have the money to play. Oh, no. well, they're putting up a fight. Yep, scientists can be bought. Plandemic. Yeah, I was, I was saying yesterday, whenever they say the word science or experts, they're probably ready to lie to you because they know you're not going to do the science or do any research on the expert. You're just going to blindly trust that word. Sexual assault, okay. I've never gotten into UFC, so I don't really follow those guys at all. When I did listen to some sports podcasts, I would I wouldn't like when they would talk about UFC. Number thirty four takes it at the eight. He's getting away. Found a crease. Notre Dame gets on the board. That was Charles Rogers on the TD. That was one of the most amazing returns I've seen in a long time. What was special about this coach is the fact that he made some nice moves. Yes, James, I agree. He open, you saw his ability to outrun the coverage. I agree. I mean, obviously, everyone likes proven science that will benefit. 
us, you know, creation of different things. But just to believe everything they say once <laughs> once they say that word, it's just not good. And he hits the PAT. So with under What's up, Antonio? Here in the fourth, the score, Notre Dame, 17, Michigan State, 7. Notre Dame ready to kick this one off. Yeah, it's almost like man could do better than what created everything. It's kind of like the the thought process, I guess. I guess. Yeah, it's it's getting pretty insane. I don't know. Um, A lot of the, a lot of the, what am I trying to say? Michigan State comes out in the shot. A lot of the things that could make people think were based on words, and then they would carry them out in uh, in different actions. But now it's like so extreme where you know people are putting stuff on their face and staying away from people. It's not good. It's not good. <laughs> Second and ten. Ball on the 17. Yeah, that's like zetetic thinking. You have to see it to believe it. And obviously, I know there was science that went into making a PlayStation 2 and putting this game on a disc and everything, but I'm here in the flesh playing the game. So, I believe that is true to make PS2 games. The Spartans line up with three wide. He's looking. Let's it fly. And it's caught. They'll bring him down. Big pass offense here. That was a good looking throw. Yeah, and what impresses me is the composure of this young Yeah, that's the way it seems. The science is whatever the powers want it to be. Perfect strike. Good looking play. And once they decide that they have the media power to sell that idea. They interject it on social media, through the TVs, and all the different online articles. And once people are following that path, it's hard to get them to question it or stray off of it. Because, and really I think it just comes down to they, they can't believe that there would be pe parasitic people on the top that would be that sinister to lie all the time when it doesn't it doesn't seem like it is and that one's fallen incomplete he couldn't hang on to that one guys well i can't blame him for dropping that ps2 yeah it's pretty awesome that ball was thrown that dvd player still use that sometimes too Is this my favorite game currently? Well, between the three games I'm playing seasons in, I still really like Inside Drive. But if I'm going to be watching a few some Notre Dame college football games this year, I'm going to get more into this. So I'll definitely get through the season. The reason that play was because Quote from Copernicus, so far as hypothesis are concerned, let no one expect anything certain from astronomy, which cannot furnish it, lest he accept as the truth ideas conceived for another purpose and depart from this greater fool than when he entered it. Yeah, I think, like, for me, when I talk to people, like, the, the big thing is, like, they, they just don't believe, like, someone would be lying to them this much on this grand of a scale. And that's really what it comes down to. But I think now things are getting so insane that even people who didn't want to believe it or didn't see it are seeing it now. Fourth down and three. Ball on the 36. Yeah, Inside Drive 2004, 
These are definite if you have an Xbox. That one's that's a good retro basketball game. He's looking for his man. A little overthrown, good thing, because he's pretty open. You're in a podcast, meaning you're listening to it, or you're an active participant in it. They'll start this drive at the 36. Four man front by the defense. He's in trouble. Looking. Oh. He's gonna try and scramble. Just throw it. Oh, he made the adjustment. Number 43. What's up, Infamous Smoke? The tight end came up with a nice catch that time. Yeah, nice catch, and he shows off a few moves there. Yeah, the big fella's pretty athletic for a tight end. And as a quarterback, well, that's cool, it's Eli. nice to have a big target like this to go to. Notre Dame comes to What's the, the significance the behind, behind Evergreen Star? He's hit and got away. Number 21 brings him down at the 12. And the tailback picks up good yardage there. This is very important. Listen up. If Notre Dame just getting the job the done. Game, they're in big trouble. Maybe not here, but somewhere down the road. Back to pass. Oh. <laughs> I had that linebacker flying the other way. That was funny. Michigan State calls a timeout, and they've got two remaining. If you perform the juke rights in this game, the, the jukes right in this game, you can make people look silly. Notre Dame in a four I'm two and one. Number seven drops back to pass. He steps up. Let's Big catch by the running back, and that's Coach probably going to put play. them away. Yo, was that a sensational pass or what? Let's take another look at that touchdown pass. Guys, this is a great example of a quarterback with great awareness. NHL jerseys and games and stuff like that. Cool. Getting it to the right target. Nice touchdown. All right, cool, T. Joe. All right, you'll have to report back how the NFL is. I I had enough after Thursday. I'll give it a give it a timeout for this year. But I know I know some people are excited for it. Some guys I know, some friends are still playing fantasy football. I think one of the things they're doing, like, so people don't flee away from the sports is they've made gambling legal all over the place, so. Do I get tired of looking up at my TV? Um, I really haven't thought of it, no, I just have it set up this way. I guess I could figure something out to make it like right above the screen. So that's uh that's an idea for another day. It's a good suggestion though. Number nine is back in the gun. Number nine back to throw. He passes it. Tipped away. And that was a good defensive play. Yeah, guys. Black Chicago Blackhawks jersey. The play. Late 90s and mid 2000s. Oh, I'm sure it's out there. I do have a Blackhawks jersey. It's not. There's no player on it. It's just a Blackhawks jersey with the logos. I think it was only like 50 bucks. It's a pretty nice jersey. I don't really wear it much, but. I'll bust it out this winter. He lobs it right side, and it's caught. Brought down at the 27. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming. But the great things about about this game, and I say this often, is the same graphics as the Madden games of this era, but there's more variation of the the teams. There's more teams. Different talent on the teams, different plays that you can choose from. You can do option plays, Fourth and seven. Ball which you can't do in Madden. So really you get a lot with the NCAA football games on PS2. A new scientific method is a corporation commissions a study. Someone who likes money tells them what they want to hear and then is distributed to millions of rocket scientists on CNN. 
That's pretty much, uh, that's pretty accurate. Yep. They'll take over. Xbox Series X, S? No, I don't, I don't see myself getting that. Notre I think Dame. I'm pretty, uh, pretty much staying put where I'm at. I have the Nintendo Switch. I don't play it much. PS4 I use for streaming purposes. And I have all these old Defense consoles which these are the games I really Lutz. enjoy playing anyways because they eliminate all the BS the feel Brings bad for pro players all that How hard that work in such a, a limited cover. window to play back and a nice throw. yeah in football it's third but they make so much go. money now where it's like even if you get one payday and you you know how to invest money or save money you, it's a good starting point in life most media news companies love reporting on bad news instead of good oh yeah alone in the backfield steps up he's on the run slides down I'm gonna try to score before this game's over Notre Dame takes a timeout and that was their first yeah but honestly you, you keep indulging in negative information it sends you know you start thinking negatively you have negative vibrations you get angry so you got to disconnect from it oh I spun the wrong way <laughs> I would have had him too calls a timeout that was their second timeout Third down and short. Why do you think the newer Madden games are so behind the classic Madden games? Number 22 lines up as a single back. Like in the franchise seven, mode? Because they back. don't want to focus on that. Because if they, they make too good of a franchise one. mode, people will play it for that, and they won't play it for the uh, ultimate team where they spend money on the, the packs and everything. So they rather have people doing that than First and ten. put All more in effort into that game mode because people could spend money versus franchise three. modes that they gave in th these games for free is just game Number features. He's out to the right oh, side. he couldn't make and another big catch. What do you think of that call, guys? I don't like this call, and we'll tell you why. That incomplete pass now stops the clock. All you had to do was this tight end out there. So stupid. Yeah, you're right, coach. Not a smart coach. Gran Turismo 2000. PS2 Tecto. No, I didn't watch that one. I played Gran Turismo 3. Oh, he's open. He scrambled. He go down the middle. And he drops it. Oh, the good thing that wasn't like the tie or win the game. He was wide open. Kirk, what do you think of this one? Well, I think this one's going to raise a few eyebrows. Well, to me, it's not Michigan all about State the money. Really it's about the journey well, through life. For sure. You can bet their coach will have a nice Once you realize that, I mean, you're already winning. Folks, thanks for tuning into this game. Our final score, Notre Dame. What we need to realize is Michigan State, seven. Our thanks go the time period that we're sports. living through. Like, we I'm have access to pretty Street much everything. Signing off. We Until want good time, video games. Good movies to watch, tasty food, you know, not all of it's healthy for you. And some of the movies are just straight propaganda, obviously, but, you know, good video games, excellent transportation, get around everywhere. Like, there's a lot of good things that we have access to. And it's just uh, once you start craving more. You end up in a bad spot sometimes. Yeah, I don't I don't know if Matt, Madden will ever get better, but what's up, Shallow Bay? Gridiron Masters. Everything is a card pack slot machine garnish with modern sports games, yeah. That's it. That's what they're doing. You know, they're they're basically, you know, selling microtransactions and they're fake focusing on those game modes. See the individual stats. Gameplay on next gen gonna be worse. Soul concentration on graphics. Yeah, we're probably gonna get the best graphics we ever seen, but 
Will the gameplay go along with it? Is it? Will it be actually fun? That is the question. Oh, big, big time game. Not a lot of passes thrown. Yeah, well, took care of Michigan State. We're lucky, but we have a great responsibility living in this time, too, because we have to start calling out all the things that don't make sense. Too, too long, for too long, too many good people have remained silent, and now we're in this situation that we're in in 2020. Taking all their parents' cash, yeah. I've heard the stories about racking up a few thousand on like FIFA and stuff like that. Children run in the house because you know you sit them in front of the TV on the certain programs that like that run where it, sh it shows like oh the parents don't know what they're talking about. They're just outdated people telling you what to do basically. I think next gen is going to move gaming towards a service to the point that the classic single player experience will more or less die. I could definitely see that happening. I just want everyone connected through technology instead of uh, you know meeting up for couch co-op or just enjoying the game by yourself like you almost have to always be connected to online to play some of these games. They outsource parenting. Yeah. <laughs> TV and the school system. There you go. Your kids raised. <laughs> See how they turn out. Give them a smartphone at seven years old, eight years old. <laughs> Give them access to the World Wide Web. Um, I don't think I'm playing another one. I think I want to stop there. Alright, looks like it's saving the season. I'm going to check, though, if I'm in the rankings now. Electronic repair. PS3 would never work again. He spent hundreds on Madden. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I know some people spend money on these games, and that's fine if you have a limit, but you just got to know how, especially if you grew up playing some of these games, you know how you're getting played now. Whereas I don't think these younger kids really understand it. They're just getting played. And the graphics are good enough in this era where it's like anyone could play these games. Yeah, and you actually have physical items that have, like, will either lose or maintain or maybe go up in value as it goes, as time goes on. You don't know. Obviously, the sport ones go down. It's a great thing to be, uh, retro gamer that likes sports games because they're so cheap and they're easy to get. Top 25 polls. That was a big, big win against Michigan State. Not there. Illinois is up there. Oh, man. That, that first loss of the season hurt me. Madden for the last three to five years has been a trash fire. <laughs> At this point, what? I blame the NFL more than EA because EA is like, well, if we could just keep putting it out there and NFL wants to sign the contract with us, then we might as well keep making money. And the NFL... At least they, like I said, they gave 2K the ability to make an arcade style game or not a simulation game. Whatever. So that's basically arcade style. 
if it can be emulated well or it's a college game, prices are slowly rising. Yep, I could see that. Because when's the next college game coming out? There's no... It's not in sight. It doesn't look like it will happen anytime soon. Gave my son a fire tablet for his second birthday. It was amazing how fast he picked up on it. Yeah. Yeah, they can they learn quickly. But uh the thing with some of these technologies at that early age is like rewiring kind of the way your brain works. But yes, for sure. NCAA fourteen up around a hundred. All pro on PS3, pretty expensive too. Running 4K on PC these days. I have All Pro on Xbox, or maybe I've had on PS3. I, I have it on one of them. Yeah, I should have jumped on NCAA 14, but honestly, I'm perfectly fine if I want to play college football games playing the ones on PS2. Since I'm not going to do too much deep research into the different players on the teams. You know, the schools are represented and they all kind of stick to similar play styles. <laughs> they learn crap quickly. NCAA 14 is expensive. Yeah, they stopped making them. That was the last one. Can you still play it online, like through the PS3? Or did they shut that down? Yeah, if it ends up being the last one for quite a while, you kind of want to hold on to it. But like, I, me personally, I don't like just have to have things just because I don't have them anymore. Like, I know what I like, and if I have that, then I'm good. Supposedly as a few months ago. Yeah, so I'll be back uh, with some more Notre Dame reports. Let's see the weekly awards. Maybe I have to sim through the week. And then it will. Show the top 25. Let's simulate through week 5. It's hard to keep track of what weeks I'm playing in. So I think I already had a bye week. Just make sure that my record's still the same and I didn't accidentally sim one of my games. Bowl rankings after week eight. Want to be independent? Okay, I'm still three and one. Let's see if I crack the top 25. EA Sports servers stay up for years. Yeah, that's a nice thing. What's up, Alex? NBA Jam still online. Madden 17. Fight night, not bad. Yeah, that Michigan State win didn't get me in there. Some teams in there with one loss. I'll be up there soon. Yeah, I played MSU. It was a good game up until like the fourth quarter. Save it.
Yeah, I mean, the ESPN NFL 2K5 season I did was fun with the Bears. I think uh, I'm enjoying this just as much, though. And these NCAA seasons are are shorter than the NFL, so I could get some more of these in, you know, 11, 12-game seasons. NFL propaganda report was great. Thought YouTube was going to give it the Shell Bay treatment. <laughs> Media deletion? Yeah, they, um... I have the the ads that could be put on on my channel and it wasn't on for that video. I think it's back up there though. But yeah, that was just the the honest truth. But uh yeah, the commercials the commercials were not they were just like normal stuff you would see during the Notre Dame game. They were not that way for the NFL game. Like they were aggressive with some of these uh, new new things they want people to behave a certain way. Yeah, who would have thought? That's what happens with uh, no competition and Choosing the wrong horse in the race. No, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna end here today. I was I was hurting for energy when I came into this one, but I watched the Notre Dame game today and I wanted to give my report on it while well, it was still fresh in my memory. And I wanted to talk about it because I had a lot of positives to say and it's it's something that I could watch again NFL no thank you <laughs> you guys are gonna have to tell me what happens so uh, yeah that's gonna do it for tonight thank you everyone for watching if you liked it this video you know give it a thumbs up I don't usually say that but uh, maybe that helps out <laughs> YouTube changes all the time so who knows how they do it anymore I just keep doing what I like to do and play uh, play these sports games. So I'll see you all later. I'll keep college football 2K3 in my mind. I actually haven't thought about that game. So it's a great recommendation. But the lacrosse one, Eli, that one's going to that's going to have to wait longer. So see see everyone later. Take care. Have a good night.